right, so we got our drawings now that we need to modify the trailer with. Let's, uh, let's strip our tiny house of everything but the trailer. The first thing we need to do is take out, we need to make sure that we got 12.7 and 12.6 up to the fenders there, and 6.6 uh, six and 6.7 six up to the, with the fenders there. Um, yeah, so, I'm wondering if there's a way to, see it's a little bit cockeyed, I'm wondering if there's a way to deal with this. Probably not, I, should, I just gotta draw it true to life. So, <clears throat> oh and then also we have uh, 12 and 3 quarters uh, fender height. So let's see what we have here. Um, on this side of the trailer, we're dealing with 12 seven. So let's get out the tape measure, and we'll measure from here to here. We got 12 11, so we're four inches off there. And then over here, Six seven, which is actually, yeah, it's off by, <clears throat> it's off by uh, by six. Sorry, it's off by one inch on that side, but it is correct on the other side. So, what's the issue? The issue is, I guess, this fender needs to needs to grow four inches on this side because the fender is actually four inches longer. Than it's showing here. So let's see what we got. And edit this component, edit this component, boom, we got the fender. Great. So let's uh let's first shrink this guy. Let's pull this guy back by four inches. Going from 12.11 to 12.7 on this side. Push four inches. Okay. Select this guy, and now let's scale. S to scale? Yeah, grab this middle guy. And we're gonna call this four inches. Can I do that? No, it didn't work. So that only works with... Eh. See, it's, it's doing a scale. I thought, I could have sworn that you could type in number of inches on that. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter, because we can just, like, snap to where I moved that that piece of framing. So that'll be fine. And <clears throat> I guess I gotta get the scale of the tires too to go out a little bit. You know what? I could just move these a little bit. Yeah, I was saying the axle isn't gonna line up. I don't think it's that important. Nah, let's just do it. <clears throat> I'll do the wheels afterwards. Okay, so now I got my, just double check this, I should have my 12 foot seven on this side. Twelve seven, perfect. Okay, so let's swing over to the other side now. And what we need is, let's just confirm first we have 12.11 over here as well. Okay, great. So we need to get to 12.6. So we need to extend that fender 5 inches on this side. Okay. Push. 5 inches. Now we'll edit this fender and we will scale that out. Best to scale this way, and we will line it right on that outside edge <clears throat> of that frame member. And now we can confirm that what we actually have <coughs> is 12.6. Perfect. All right. Doing good. Let's just... Uh, Come back over here because now we need six seven. I think we actually had six six on this side. Look to the green man. Oh, got orbit. Let's go on this outside edge. Six seven. OK, 
Okay, so yep. No. Confusing myself. <clears throat> Let's not confuse. We need 6-6 six, six on this side. We got 6-7. We need 6-7 six, on this side. Great, so we already have that. Okay, so that means that that this just needs to go in by an inch. <clears throat> Fender out by one inch. And we'll snap it right into that outside edge. Okay, looking good. Get rid of this thing. Was a piece of something over there. Let's make this unique. What is this right now? Is this a group? It is a group. Okay, is that the group? So if that's a group and I edit the group, the heck? Let's explode this group. Well, that is weird. Huh. How is that possible? <clears throat> How are these the same object? I guess this is a... Uh... How is that possible? If this is not a component. Whatever, I'm just going to delete it. Whatever the hell it is. Get rid of it completely. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. So let's confirm all of these uh, these lengths. We need twelve seven. And what we're looking at here is the same uh, the same plan view that I'm looking at on my drawing. And I should have <coughs> should have twelve seven there, and I do that matches. Over here, I should have twelve six. And I do. Let's move over here. Here I should have six seven. And I do. And here. I should have six six. And a do. Okay, so now we can just <clears throat> finagle these wheels a little bit. Axles be damned. Literally just gonna move these wheels independent of the axles. Actually no, I can move that's not true. I can move them up evenly. Okay, great. Let's just do that. Okay, be close enough. I don't want to rotate. Just want to move on the green axis. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I'll move this one on the green axis. Okay. 
And that looks good. <clears throat> close enough. Let's take a look at the other side. Yep, close enough. Okay. I'm going to say this is a new file. I'm going to rename this. This is just Tiny House. Can I do that? Oh, eh, no wonder. All right, so we're going to call <clears throat> this one Tiny House Dan and Justine. Because this drawing is going to be for our specific trailer. Um, I am going to then... I'm going to then uh, rename this original one to just Tiny House. Because this is going to be the drawing that I give to you guys. <clears throat> um, I want to give these plans away. Uh, I want to give the SketchUp drawing away because I want to try to help you guys build your own. So you can take this drawing, uh, you can take uh, you know the trailer and the house built on it, um, and you can do what I'm doing right now to modify it um, to fit your tr to actually represent your trailer, and then modify the framing a little bit to uh, to represent your tiny house. So uh, your version of my drawing. Um, and I would, it's like open source. Um, I'm just, you know, really excited to be able to offer that. Finally, this is my first thing I've ever drawn. The first structure, the first building I've ever drawn. Um, and uh, I've always wanted to be able to give that away. Um, because that, you know, a lot of people, if they have a good set of drawings, they can, they can figure out how to build the thing, or at least frame it. It's not rocket science. Um, but making drawings that are that are like uh you know that are passing code and that are up to snuff um isn't like an easy thing to do necessarily it takes a lot of knowledge and these drawings i've had looked at by um the noaa certification team um the inspectors over there and they are saying this framing is good to go so this is going to give you guys a really good head start i hope um all right so Moving on now. Uh, okay, so next thing we need to do is make sure the fender height is 12 and 3 quarters off the deck. So let's see what we're at right now. So we're at 13 and 7 eighths for some reason. Let's say I totally understand that. Make sure I'm coming off the correct thing here. I didn't draw these, so I'll make sure I'm on the right edge. Okay. Okay, one foot two. So I'm actually showing 14 inches. <clears throat> so what do we got here? We need to bring this down inch and inch and uh, and three quarters. Sorry, an inch and a quarter to go from 14 inches to 12 and three quarters. So again, I'm just going to scale this. <clears throat> scale this fender. 1.25. Whoops, that did not go the right way. 1.25. <clears throat> right. This thing is making me scale in like percentage. Okay, so I'm just going to make a tape measure marking. Drag this up 12 and 3 quarters. And now when I scale this down, it's going to come down to that line. <clears throat> okay, and now if I do this, one foot and three quarters okay perfect 12 and three quarters all right that was one side now let's just hit the other side Twelve point seven five. 
scale you down to the line. <clears throat> and we will make sure by going one foot and three quarters, 12 and three quarters. Okay, perfect. Let's get rid of this line. Let's get rid of that line. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, guys. We're in good shape now. Um, now we need to move on to the framing members. Now that we have our fenders in the right spot. So let me get a little shot of this. Okay, so if you remember, we have our... Uh, uh, what is it? Approximately 15 on center for the first uh, framing member here to there and here to here. And then we are 16 on center for all the ones in the middle. And then we got two of these little members on this little eight inch thing that are 48 on center from that end on both sides. And then we got one that comes in 48 on center from this end. And then these little guys are eight inches on center. So uh, let's see if we can uh, execute that. Okay, so let's first check if these are actually eight on center. By golly, they are. Well, that was an easy one, I think. No, actually, that was just coincidence, because that just matched up to what uh, the original trailer uh, drawing was. So that was lucky. Um, we already know that. Let's just actually, we didn't even confirm these outside edges. 8 foot 2, so that's 98 inches. That's perfect. And the full length, I know, already know this is 28 feet, but we'll just do this anyway. 28 feet. Okay. All right, so our exterior is good. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is um let's get these guys done okay so let's go in over here okay so let's pull a tape let's pull a line on this side we got <clears throat> 15 on center so 15 Alright, so I gotta move this guy over just a bit. Lock it to the green. And lock it to this line. Okay, so that's let's do that first. Now let's go over here. Do the same thing. 15. I'm gonna do 15. I know this end was 14 and 3 quarters, but let me start with 15 because. I got a feeling that's probably going to add up to be what I need it to be. Okay, lock it to this line. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's start over here where we know it was absolutely 15. Get rid of these. I don't like having these guides laying around. Whoops. That guide was in that component. Let me get rid of both those guides. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna pull 16 on center. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete a bunch of these. All of them, actually. I'm just gonna re-pull them. Uh, I'll leave that one there because we know that's where that one. Okay, cool. So this is going to be real easy. So just uh, we're going to move it, make a copy of it, lock it to the green, and we're going to go 16. I'm going to move it, copy it, lock it to the green, 16. All right, let's just do all three now, and we'll do 48. Move it, lock it to the green, copy, and 48. Okay, let's make this go even faster. So we'll do 96. 
Move it, copy it, lock it to the green, and 96. Let's see where that gets us. Getting closer. Okay, move it, copy it, lock it to the green, 96. Okay, now let's do one at a time over here. <clears throat> I think we only need one more. Okay, move it, copy it, lock it to the green, and 16. All right, now here's the test. Where are we going to end up? How far is this one from this one? Oh, 16. Okay, so yeah, nix that whole 14 and 3 quarter thing over here. This is just going to be 15. It's not going to line up perfectly. It's going to be a little bit off. Um, actually, no, it's not going to. It's not going to be off at all. The only thing that's going to be off is is where this thing actually is. Oh no! Wait a minute. Yeah, so the issue... Okay, I'm remembering now. The issue was it was 15 on center from this point to this point. So this was correct. 15 was good. But on this side, this guy was a little bit cockeyed. It was actually uh, 14 and a half. So we're talking about a difference of, um, of half an inch that this thing actually kind of curves off to the kind of curves off like this give or take a little bit um i don't think that's enough to worry about for this drawing i'll make i'll just make it work when i'm uh when i'm building it uh but as far as the drawing goes i think that's close enough when i'm like when i need to know where these frame members are underneath my floorboards if i need to drill a hole um you know for a toilet or something which i know i'm gonna need to do i think um this will be close enough in fact, the toilet is going to be right over in this area. So it's going to be either right on or it's going to be off by like a quarter of an inch. That is not going to matter for my hole for the toilet because I'm just going to drill this hole, you know, right in the center of these frame members. So I don't think there's any issue leaving it like this for me. Okay, next thing we need to do is get rid of these guys. Oh, these are so weird how they were drawn. I just don't understand it. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna re redraw these. I don't like these at all. So let me get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of all these too. Okay, so there's only one over here, and it's 48 on center from the end. Okay, so that's going to be, it's going to line up directly with uh, with this guy, I believe. We got 48. No, how do we not have 48? Something is a little bit off. Let's actually go on center. Oh, you know what? I think I might know what the issue is. It's three foot eleven. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if I have to go back out there and do a quick measurement because I wonder if uh, so this was 15 inches then is this 16 it is 16 and then is this 16 it is 16 okay let me go outside I'm gonna go outside and remeasure to make sure that that truly was 48 on center um, or if something I've done here is messed up. So I'm going to go confirm that. I'll be right back. The first thing we need to do is take out, we need to make sure that we got 12.7 and 12.6 up to the fenders there, and 6.6 uh, six and 6.7 six up to the, with the fenders there. I'm wondering if there's a way to, see it's a little bit cockeyed. I'm wondering if there's a way to deal with this. Probably not. I should. I just got to draw it true to life. So, <clears throat> oh, and then also we have uh, twelve and three quarters uh, fender height. So let's 
put that. Hey guys, so rainy day today, but we're continually making progress on the tiny house situation. So build site organization, build site. Uh, I think I've already said this before, but we got our 18 by 20 Hercules uh, canopy from Home Depot. So far, so good. It's been holding up. Uh, we haven't had any crazy wind yet, but uh, I got the thing staked down really good with 24 inch form spikes. And I'll show you what I did here. These are kind of in the ground, but I just screwed a, uh, a piece of cedar into the form spike to hold down that string. Because um, the form spikes, they don't have anything to grip onto the string otherwise. Um, needed form spikes because the ground is so rocky here. Nothing else would work. Uh, and then in the background, we got our trailer. That ah. Trailer right back there. Um, gonna take a look at that in a second. Um, right now I'm kind of working on bringing out a couple tools out to the canopy to get ready for uh, uh, tomorrow. Hopefully it's going to clear up and I'm going to start framing. I uh, got all the materials staged out there. That's all the uh, that's all the lumber for the framing or most of it. And then uh, three quarter inch uh, Advantech uh, uh, OSB for the subfloor. Yeah, so right now I'm going to um, take some measurements on the trailer. And the situation is the trailer that uh, I drew uh, in SketchUp or the trailer that I modified in SketchUp, uh, I had the time to take guesses on the measurements because it was, I couldn't get, I couldn't get exact measurements from the manufacturer. Um, they gave me like very close to real measurements, but they're not perfect and my drawings are perfect. So I need to now modify my drawings to accommodate uh, the wheel wells, or the fenders are slightly different size and one of the sides has an extra four inches. I think the actual fenders are about four inches short, shorter than uh, what they were advertised as. So it's not the, not the biggest deal in the world, but it requires some redrawing. So I'm going to take some measurements right now and then I'm going to get on that. So <clears throat> to level out the trailer and to have it sitting with a strong base, I got uh, I got a six ton bottle jack six ton bottle jack that's gonna allow me to lift up the trailer um, even when I have a whole house on it and I have a I have six three ton jack stands um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do those all right so here's the trailer right over there I got this massive jack stand um, or jack I, that thing is rated for like a lot of weight, so I can use that. Um, but in addition to that, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Eh, it's probably going to be near impossible with this. But if I sight this, it's pretty good right now. But if I sight it, there's a little bit of bow in it. Okay, you're going to have to take my word on that. Um, it was a lot worse when I had this up a little bit higher. You can see, you can see there's this flex, which... Which, quite honestly, I was surprised about, but I mean, steel is steel, and uh, this is a pretty bomber frame already, so that's just the way it is. So that just shows how important having supporting it at this end, at, in the middle, and at the end is going to be. So I got these paver blocks. Now, mind you, this is not the final resting place for the trailer. This is just where I'm going to be building the tiny house. I'm going to move it afterwards. Um, but I still need to get it level. So I got these pavers. They're like a buck fifty each, Home Depot. And uh, the purpose of those guys is gonna give a nice solid footprint for each jack stand. And I'm gonna put a jack stand, one there, one in the middle, one in the end on both sides. And I'm gonna level that out with the bottle jack and get that thing sitting pretty. Um, I have a feeling these are gonna sink a little bit over time, so I'll probably have to adjust um, as I build it, but that's not a big deal. Eight inches OC. <coughs> this one wants to right here. This right here is fifteen inches OC. Okay, got that first one. 
I think what they did was is that they did 16 on center, except they split whatever the difference was between the first and the last. So if I measure the last one, well, first I'll confirm this is all 16 on center, and then I'll measure the last one. Sixteen, 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 sixty-four, uh, one twenty-eight. Okay. So far, so good. Sixteen, sixty-four, ninety-six, one twelve, one twenty-eight. So we're sixteen on center, all the way to this last one. This last one is fourteen and a half. Yeah, 14 and a half on center. Mm, it's like 15. Let's see what it is in the middle. 14 and three quarters. So we'll call that 14 and three quarters, I guess. Okay. quarters oh see now when this all has to add up to 28 feet so I might have to alter this when I'm in SketchUp uh, but for now let me just count how many I have here so I want to draw the wrong number <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 of those members. Oh, see. I was going to double check to make sure I got 22 of these starting here, ending there. This is so not even important. All I have to know is that these are 15, about 15 on center, and these are all 16. And in SketchUp, I'll only be able to draw however many I can draw, and it will come out to that many. Okay, so the next thing is I need to figure out where the framing members are in these little 8-inch pieces. Looks like every third coming in from here, so... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. This guy right here. So 16, 16, 32, this is 48 OC. And then is it another three? One, two, three, it is another three. One, two, three. And then we got one, two, three. Yeah, the fender's a little bit beyond that. Okay, so let's get this one right here. Let's go check out the back. One, two, three. So this is 48 OC. Yeah. All right, there's just one in the back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and that's 48 inches OC. All right, so there it is. Between these two sheets, I got all the dimensions. Uh, and now I'm ready to go inside and put it into SketchUp. All right, I keep coming back a little bit wetter. Um, all right, so the whole issue that I'm experiencing here is that I just wrote it, I just drew it wrong in my, in my drawing that I just sketched out outside. Um, they're not 48 inches on center from the ends. So, so for, they're actually 47. So if I go 48 on, if I do my distance on center from here, it comes to three foot 11. And that is because, and not 48, that's because this last piece right here is only 15 inches on center while the rest of these are 16. So if I go back over here and take a look at this one now with this information, three foot 11, that's exactly right. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, something else that I want to put in here before I forget to is these.
there are these, uh, there are little blocks over there that I need to illustrate in here. Okay, do I have it on all of those? <clears throat> nope, missing this one. All right, but I can't just drag straight across because these have slightly different dimensions. So I'll move this up there. Okay. Great. And now do the same thing with this. Just drag it off. Right there. Now, just again, to recap, these are 47 on center to the ends. But then these, the next ones, actually are 48. And that's how they line up with these, because these are all 16 on center from there to there. So that's how that works. Let's move this one. Forty-eight. And perfect. Okay, guys. Looks like the trailer is complete. All the framing for the trailer is right where it should be, and this is gonna this represents reality. Okay, now we got to slap the house on here and modify the house to fit on the trailer properly. Okay, let's see how bad it's gonna be. Subfloor. Alright, let's just fix these piece by piece. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disappear these fenders disappear this whole thing hide make this a lot easier so ooh, yeah all right so let's just start with the subfloor here push this back reach there okay I don't know where the, I don't remember what that notch was exactly whoops whoops I'm going to ignore that notch for now. <clears throat> Let's push this back. And that notch. Yeah, so I have to change. Let's see here. Unhide. Nah. Unhide. So what what is the problem that I'm experiencing here? Is this a full sheet of plywood? I'm not even close. So that's what I have to do. Let's hide this. And we're gonna push this back. Now, am I going too far getting all these things perfect? I don't think so. Because the closer to reality your drawings are, the less surprises that are just going to come up. I mean, that's the honest truth. So I don't mind spending, you know, the little extra time 
Ah. What was this? One and one sixteenth. So I need fifteen sixteenths. And this is gonna be like literally impossible. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Yeah, so the closer to reality all your drawings are, the the, the less confusion you're going to have later on. I mean, maybe I could get by without doing this and everything would be fine, but maybe it would cause a cascading problem that I wasn't anticipating. And I do not, I do not want that. Um, all right, so I have this notch cut out here. Let's just pull this notch out. and 15 and 16 it's not gonna let us though there we go okay we're just gonna do it man we're just gonna grind this thing out okay so let's get rid of this trailer again I don't even know if I have to. We just push this. Push, push, push. Okay. And now I'll pull, pull, pull. It's good enough. Okay. This one to deal with too. There it is. Okay, subfloor is totally fixed, I thought. Oh yeah, we have a discrepancy here because because this silly because the fenders are not perfect. But whatever, we'll just work that out somehow. I don't know how I'm going to work it out. Just notch something to make it work with the plywood. All right, so that's that. Uh that solves that. Um, now let's keep going up. Let's do, uh, let's start bringing in framing. What the heck? Oh, okay. You see that framing? That isn't going to work. Ugh. This is what I didn't want. Okay. So, all this wall stuff needs to stay exactly where it's at. Oh, let me see where the door is now. the door is going to be okay. Oh, no. No! Oh, God. It, can't, it got closer to the door. Oh, see, the door was so close already. It just... I have to move the whole door over now? Oh, boy. This is so much... It's so... It's hilarious because this is so much redrawing. Um, oh, God. This is going to take me hours to fix this. Ugh. You know, I really wish, I wish it was possible for the trailer manufacturers to, like, give you, like, exact dimensions ahead of time. Like, and not be wrong. They, their fender size was off by four inches, and it's, it's really screwing me right now. It's going to create hours of work for me to do. Um, it's, it's really a shame. I, I wish, like, there was, like, a set of plans they could give you ahead of time. And stick to that, because now... It's just going to waste so many people's time dealing with this. Unless, of course, I ordered the trailer many, many, like six months in advance or even a year in advance so I had the time to, like, draw this out. That was never going to happen. That's impossible. Oh, boy. Okay. So, let's see here. 
how do I deal with this? This window needs to be right where it's at. So, since that can't change, it's really just this header. I mean, this fender got bigger, so I have to make this this whole thing bigger. So, let's see. How off are we here? We are. We're exactly one inch off. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this. Push this in by one inch. Okay. And then I'm going to take these two pieces and this thing. And I'm going to move those by one inch. I don't even know if I can do that. I mean, eh, that is close, man. It's off by a sixteenth. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to roll with that. I'll call that done. Um, might be a little sticking out a little bit there, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so now let's oops, let's pull these two out. Perfect. Just want to see what I've done here. Okay, I see. I haven't changed anything that matters right now. Okay. Okay, this won't be that bad either. Let's hide this for a moment. So we can push this back. That's back, and now we can take this guy. This guy and this guy. We can move them in. We're gonna end up with the same freaking problem here. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't really have much of a choice here. What do I do about this? I'm gonna have to have this, this thing span a little further. I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Get rid of that guy. Just take these two. Just have this header a little bit. Guess a little bit longer than it has to be. How about that? I mean, I don't really feel like packing out a perfect little piece in there. So I think this is gonna be okay. I'm not really worried about this, so what if it doesn't line up right at the end? Point is, that header is still super strong. Everything is good with that. Alright, let's put the fender back in and see what it looks like. Looks fine. This is totally fine. We can just spray foam in there and it'll be all good. All right. So that's that. Let's hide that wall. Let's get this wall. This is going to be more of a doozy. Yikes. All right. Um, whoa, what's going on over here? Why is that perfect? Oh, because that never changed. <laughs> that, that dimension was actually right. Okay, so how far off am I here? Let's measure this. Five inches. So everything needs to move five inches down. So I'm going to assume these are the 16 on the centers. Yeah. Okay, so I need to basically 
There's no way this is going to survive. That needs to go. This thing needs to move five inches. Nope, I don't want to copy. I want to walk to there and five inches. <coughs> okay. Okay, so that's five inches. <clears throat> now, since this whole thing needs to move over, five, oh boy. Okay, so let's get this whole thing. Move that over five inches. Okay. And that's all fine and well. I can move this framing over, but we're going to end up with a problem, and you'll see what that is. This, this, and this. That's all fine and well. Let's move this. Okay. That's all fine and well. Move this. Okay, so all that framing successfully moved over. Now, what the heck's going on over here? <laughs> never, never finished that or something? Okay, so let's put the platform in. You know, before I even do that, I need this wall piece. This one. This is going to be the problem. This needs to move over five inches. Now, this for all this framing stuff is fine. The thing that I I'm getting concerned about is what that's going to do to our layout and these stairs that we have here. I mean everything, even these stairs. I have to redraw all these stairs and it's just oh god. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Let's just move this over. So now 16 on center won't reach that, so plus 16, and now we don't need that extra piece right there. Okay. That's that. Let's get the platform back in. Because the platform has to change as well. Inches. Now we need to push this five inches. Okay. Everything is looking okay there now. I move that over. Hmm. I move that over, so all those 16 on centers are all messed up now. 
I literally just moved this piece. These guys I just shrunk and grew. And this one I moved. Okay, so let's get the wall back in there. Alright, so we need I need to start measuring. I need to start taking these 16 on centers again. Okay. Oops. Okay, take the eight. That's our 16 on center there. Right to there, so now I need a 16. Right there. So the distance from this line right here to this should be five inches. It is. Alrighty. All these move over five inches. Ah! Why did that happen? Box green, five inches, enter. Why aren't you working? That's strange. Okay, so now we have. 16 on center all the way over. Okay, good. Now we're at a 16 on center go. So now we gotta pull 16 right from here. There. Okay, so this moves over. Just lost what I was doing. Okay, so it's on the outside. Outside, the outside, 16. Okay, so the next 16 is right there. Screw that. This wall is going to be so unruly. Let's just end it right there. It's an odd shaped wall unit. We'll just stop this guy right here. Okay. First, bring this guy out. Okay. All right, let's remind ourselves where 16 is. There it is. Oh, wow. Sweet. Okay, so that's the end of that wall. Perfect. And now we need another one of these. Right there. But where's our next 16 on center? Let's pull it out. 16. It is right there. Where the heck did I just come from? Okay, sweet. Nope, we're not quite right. Side. Side. Yeah, it's not where we need to be. Let's check that. Two foot eight. Okay, good. 
All right, so now we have our 16 on center. Let's just double check down here. We know these guys are 16, but eight falls right there. So let's do our two foot eight from right here. Three foot two, four foot. Okay, sweet. So we got our 16 on center right there too. All right, and what happened over here? Let's identify the beginning of this shit show. These got off a little bit. So these just need to be a little bit longer. Fix those. <clears throat> and that 16 matches up perfect. The only thing we need now, we basically just need another one of these right here. And that will solve that. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're in good shape now on this side. What about this side? Okay, so less complications. Oh, did I already do this? Oh, it's already got done. Okay. Alright, so this header is good. This side looks like it's probably okay. Let's double check 16s. I think we're good. Alright, so this side is good. Now for the sheathing.
Okay, there we are. Framing in the sheathing will now accommodate our trailer. But the inside, oh, is a totally different story. Um, let's start with the paneling, the interior sheathing. Interior sheathing. All right, let me put in a section plane. Gonna draw another rectangle right in front of you. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Okay, a rectangle. Okay, pull this out, 0.75, make a component out of it, hide it, delete this thing, unhide all, and now we have to move this thing back. Okay, well there that is. Now I gotta put that trailer back in. Gotta cut around it. Okay, I've been having some trouble figuring out the best way to deal with this redrawing this uh redrawing this this interior sheathing to so i can like recut out the new trailer shape i'm gonna try this next method i think i i'm feeling really good about this one just gonna delete these lines oops i don't want to do that all right so if i delete all these lines like this Now, can I pull this down? So that doesn't work. Maybe what I can do now is delete these lines. Right? Okay, so I'm going to delete all these lines. So I've deleted all those. And I'm going to delete all these. Okay. And now what I can do is I can redraw I can draw these lines, I can say. From there, from there to there, I'll draw that line, and then I'll also draw from there. To there. Okay. 
What just happened? Okay, the issue is, is that... What? It's not cut out? Honestly, I have no idea what the freaking issue is. Why did those... Why did I lose those cutouts? Huh. That is very interesting. I still lost them. So my whole issue is like, how do I... Alright, so let me try... My whole issue has been, like, for some reason, when I try to cut these shapes out again, out of this wall, it doesn't work. Let's try this again. This time I'll zoom in on each individual corner. Okay, so we're editing that. I'm drawing this on there. I'm drawing that. I'm drawing that. See, something weird is happening. I just lost it. Why didn't that work? Why am I not able... This thing is not right on the edge or something? Oh, is it the same issue? This would be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, I think uh, I think I'm done uh, for the most part. Uh, I just uh, I've just been looking at the uh, the wheel well situation, and uh, the wheel well on this side is totally fine because uh, this area here is just going to get covered up by some by some uh, little uh, footrest I put in for the seating here. This cabinet still encompasses that, and then the wheel well ends in in this cabinet. So that's totally fine. And then on the other side, let's get rid of the section plane. On the other side, I got a little bit of a complication with the stairs. Um, but I'm not going to redraw the stairs right now. That's just too much work. Um, I really have to start framing this thing. Uh, like now. Um the uh the tv network that is doing the show on us uh it is in the contract that we have to finish by october 7th or something so i just need to get moving i will improvise and get these stairs done when the time is necessary uh it really was a bummer that the the door moved over um and that wheel well pushed it out because it creates a really tight space here for these stairs and i do not like that I'm very unhappy about that part but um Hey, where did my washer go? Ow, <laughs> the section plane cut it off. That's funny. I don't know what the heck happened there? Yeah, so not happy about that at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to lose about five inches of these stairs right here. <sighs> Maybe I can get away with like three or four inches. Uh, but this door needs to open all the way. And it has to open. It has to open this way. When you walk in, you need to walk in this way into the main space, not towards the bathroom. So, uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I am uh, going to start breaking this apart now and making, 
guess they would be sections, making uh, wall section uh, drawings with dimensions so that I can start putting the, uh, the wall sections together, uh, hopefully tomorrow. So, uh, all right, let's move on to that then. <laughs> 